<laughs> that is my dad for anybody asking in the background. It's so good to see him, guys. I went recently and was like, oh hell no, give me my life. <laughs> she was like, she, she couldn't relate. Stick your elbow out a little bit, Barbara. There you go. Beautiful. I think the last time I got pampered, pampered was uh, I get facials, but they are, I guess they are pampering. But the last time I went to a spa spa was when I went to Sedona about two years ago for my birthday. And I had a spa day. It was okay. Two years ago, because this year I went to, or was it last year? I think it was last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was last year that I went to Sedona. Mm -hmm. Can't remember. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. And essential for mental and physical health. I'm starting to get more into acupuncture though now. It's not as painful anymore. Okay, and Antonia says, especially since the only salons in my area are NS salons and I do not trust their products. What is NS? Non standard? Oh. Hmm. I don't think I trust their products either. I'm pretty sure you could take your own. Mm. That's why I started doing my own nail scissors. Mm hmm. Because the local nail place does not live up to my standard. Plus, I'm mm. Okay. I'm loving your 5XL stiletto right now. For the fantasy. Ooh, that's the Mosley lady. That's Misty. Yes, yeah. she's no joke. She's a ride or die with that link. Yeah. That is a lifestyle. Very extreme, but lovely. Oh, I see a self-taught. Let's see if you can no me los pongas aquí. No, pero voy a ir a ver cuando me pongas. Antonio says, you are doing a prilly? Question mark, question mark. Long time. Long time no see. Antonio says, hi, Daddy Max. Hello, hello. We are filling this Moses 123 Go Nails with acrylic mm -hmm. just to show the versatility of the product. Woo! Rosie, what did you get at Ikea? She said she just got made it back from Ikea. Oh wow, that is a day trip. It is. It's, it's like you go, you make a band. You go, you know. Don't Plan everything out. out. Yeah. Ikea is not a go in and out kind of store. Yeah, it is. It makes a huge difference. Oh my gosh. You guys see how fast Max did that? <laughs> like, super quick. That's what happens when you've been doing the same thing for a hundred years. That's why I use the facet monomer and it's still probably not dry. Which one of your brushes would you recommend? All of them. They're all beautiful. Well, what brushes you are you using now? I use the coconut, mm. which is a size 14. Our vegan brushes are really popular too. Mm -hmm. So how do you know when acrylic is completely dry and ready for filing? It will sound like a hard-boiled egg. So that one's kind of nope. See that one? I hit it. Can you guys hear it? It sounds hollow. That means it's not dry yet. Sean says she needs to graduate to XXL. She's a little 5XL. You just gotta dive into it. <laughs> you can use any of this brush. So we have the option. We have both vegan and Kalinsky brushes. 
so that way there's something for everyone. This is YouTube. But I have to, I had to cave in and buy YouTube premium because I was just so over the ads on YouTube. It gets to the point where they force you to do it because it's either that or you're jamming to a song in the middle of the song. I know. An ad. Ugh, so annoying. Mm-hmm. Because it's nail text. We always got tons of stuff on the desk. On the nail table fantasy. Especially me. Got 501 things on here. Yes, you do. And counting. They're always like, my mom right now, she put something on top of my desk. And I was like, don't do that. Oh, okay. I don't, I personally wouldn't call, uh, categorize Asian salons in that because there's a lot of other people from other races that also use products that they shouldn't be using, so I think that's a, that's a, a stigma that they get when a lot of them do use the correct kind of products, especially yeah. the younger generations. Oh, the younger ones use the right products or they're, yes. they're right brands, they're not not or whatever. Yeah, chemicals that they shouldn't be using. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use the power top bit to file the top. Hey, hold on. It's been such a long time for their cool. Yeah. Got to mix it up every once in a while. Got to mix it up. Got to keep all the girls on their toes. She thinks she's the only one on the planet that, that's, that's not been to Ikea. Really? <laughs> I haven't been to Ikea in a long time. I'd rather shop <laughs> online. Oh yeah. I'd rather shop online than Ikea because to bring it over, because the closest Ikea to where we live is two hours away. It's just some cookies, right? Yep. So can you imagine having to bring all that stuff back? Ugh, no thanks. And that's four hours of your day spent in an automobile, too. I know, that's true. But you can go in the morning the day over there, one, two, three, stop at the casino, and then come on home. <laughs> the outlet mall right there. Right. You know, I'm thinking about... Not that Taking I'm advantage of the, of the time that you're up there. Yeah. You know, do something different. I wonder if we'll ever see an Ikea in Tucson. That's awesome! Use, use an ad blocker that works, is what I use. Huh. Oh, for... Says, Don't play for it, use an ad blocker. I've never tried one. Oh. I wonder if it's like a VPN. I don't know. Could be. I don't even know what YouTube content is, the, the YouTube premium stuff that you get when you when you buy it. But I know they do have some free movies every once in a while right. on YouTube. More and more now. Really? Because I did see a movie where Nicole Kidman played um, Grace Kelly. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That was the one that married the, the Prince Monica, right? Oh, Grace Kelly, yeah. yeah. It was really good. I liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Nicole Kidman is a really good actress, though. I love Nicole Kidman. Oh, thank you.
Well, I've also been doing it a really long time, though. Yeah. But some of them, I'm telling you, they've been living a long time, too. Mm -hmm. Questionable area, questionable shopping centers. So the power top bit is the one I'm using now. The power bottom bit is a conical shaped bit, so it's shaped kind of like a Christmas tree. And it is specifically designed for the C-curve, and it's also really great for filing the inside of the nail, too. Do people, do salons still charge three hours a full set? I haven't seen a salon charge that in a while, especially with the inflation. I, but I remember in Southern California, I have seen salons that were charging like... Like $15 a full set I've seen in like East LA, yeah. You gotta do a lot of nails and do them really fast. Well, for $15, you get what you pay for. And I think everything is an add-on too, so if you want color, it's so much. If you want top coat, it's so much. So everything is a uh, tacked on. Brittany says, I swear one day you say I'm gonna fly out so you can bless these hands. I will let you go wild. <laughs> She's like, the phalange you found to see. release anything today or tomorrow. I played a YouTube off my phone. I'm sorry. I think right now it should be okay though. So this is the first bit, and we're really going in and blending in that cuticle area. After I love that. I love that. For sure, it's super popular. And now a lot of companies are doing buy now, pay later uh, options. Really? Yeah, but we stick with, um, we have Afterpay, we have Klarna, which were, I think, the first two. What, what's the call? Klarna. K-L. Oh, okay, Klarna. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. It's a Swedish company. Yeah, right. And Afterpay, it was an Australian company, but it got bought out by um, Square. The credit card processor. Oh yeah. Um. So can you still use Square? Yes. So Square owns Afterpay now. Oh okay. And Tony is saying. Uh, she is blended.
Or bought it like that. The whole set. Here? No, I got it online. I think on Etsy. Oh, okay. Hello, hello. I tried to use it once and it didn't work for me. Really? But doing your own acrylic, that is quite ambidextrous. Yes. Yeah, you have some serious skills. Yes, because I mean, it's such a, a process to do acrylic nails, and can you imagine that? Filing and everything like that with your non dominant hand, that must. Those are some skills. Oh, he's. Uh, Antonio said, yes, it should. So it should work with Safari. There are ad blockers on phones. Just, just go to your phone numbers, app store, and search for YouTube ad blockers. Ooh, I'm going to have to try that out soon. Save myself 15 bucks a month. That's awesome. Flash is so popular. We are actually going to make, well, we already made, but it'll be released soon, a neon set of flash gels. Limited edition neon set of flash gels. 12 colors. So bright. So I'm taking the smoothie buffer right now, just smoothing out the top surface. Imagine the population of ambidextrous people is really small. Brittany says every time she does it, she tags me on Instagram. Oh, thank you. Serious skills. Like those people that paint with their feet or their mouth. I know. This is my part. It is cool to see though. Mm -hmm. It is cool to see people paint with like their feet. Yeah. There's the one artist who has many arms, right? Mm-hmm. That's That always comes to mind when you say paint with your feet. <laughs> that I've seen um this lady, she didn't have arms and she would talk with her feet and when she would talk with her feet, you know how we talk like this with her hands? She would do that with her feet, I thought it was really cool. And she would drink uh, coffee with her uh, with her feet and she would put up her little pinky toe like this when she would drink her coffee. She's like, I can drink it fancy too. Oh wow, that's too funny. So we're gonna go in with, I love this color so much. This is A Pink number 12, which is the milky white color. It is this color is an icon. Yeah, I see Marcelina. She started at the hard level of the Wow. Oh, my makeup is like neon. Neon flash sauce. She's ready. It'll be. They were going to be for next year, but we decided to 
push it a little bit sooner. But the colors for next year are so exciting. I I can't wait for you guys to see them. They're already in production. Wow. Okay. And so you already well, the next time I'm getting out right. Yes, probably. Because it'll be just around the time when it'll be nice and, and ready for Halloween. At the time, I, when my mom was a, she became a, a Cosmo, mm. tips were really that huge. Because it was, you could, uh... I know when I, when I went to this, Oh, and then white tips came out, and that was just. No, that was the end of the. That was the, the end all be all for, for nails. It was like, you gotta get the white tips. That was it. <laughs> so, one super thin coat of. Are we in the frame? Yeah. A nice thin coat of Wonder Gel. Mm -hmm. going to give us a rubbery base so that way the stickers will apply nice and smooth but the milky white just gives it a beautiful not super stark white but just a nice natural sheen to the nail to give us a really pretty base for the design work She doesn't like words on her nails though. No, I think on the middle finger. So that way it's more obvious to see. Okay, let's do the thumb now, just an extra 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Stretching. airbrushing. That's when I started getting my nails. Oh, I remember airbrushing. Oh yeah, I remember airbrushing too. People didn't do backfill, so they would just airbrush it. All the time, that's mm -hmm. right. Take this one up. Airbrush 
I don't think Everest cut on though, again. It's a lot of work. They Not tried, it. it's still very, the technology still hasn't really uh, changed that much. They have gel airbrushes, but you still have to clean out the machine and it takes forever and eh. No thanks. This is the one that, this is a big hit. I know. I know. There we go. I know. Do you remember what song it is, Barbara? Control. Now we're all grown up. Control. It's a pain. It's a pain. There's so much music. Yeah, it does. Aren't they beautiful? I like them too. This is a collaboration. Yes. She does? When did it come out? Really? How is it performing? You haven't really heard that much about it. On the news. Abstract kind of design. The song is such a moment in time, isn't it? Like her letting go. Yes. And you know they said that she had a kid with him too. I wonder if that's true. I don't, I don't know. But that was the rumor. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think she just married she had married him to uh, get away from her dad. Yeah, for sure. But I don't have any classes planned this year until our annual class in Florida in January. That We have that every year. And that's the only one I have planned right now that's 100% concrete. And the dates will be releasing at the end of the month, if not early October.
Atlanta, the Florida is Brittany, yeah. Disney World. That she class is always so much fun. With who? Yeah, who? Who was the baby dad? I know she had a kid. But I'm she had a kid to... recently. Yeah. With the Arab prince. Yeah. But, but the rumor yeah, from back but, in the day. But um, but way back when she was younger, that was the rumor about her and the So let's press everything down, make sure it's nice and smooth. And remember you guys, stickers always look best with two coats of top coat. Yeah, Air Prince from like Dubai or something. And she, I think she still lives there. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna do one coat of wonder gel. And this coat is the one we're going to use to adhere the uh, 24 karat sequence to. Yeah, because she was supposed to do a residency in Las Vegas. Yeah, but then she was pregnant. And she says that she wants to be involved in the raising of her son, so if she doesn't have a nanny or anything, just her. And her mother, probably. Yeah. The velvets. Both like long hair. I thought you were gonna put beads in it. But you're like, no, that's too old school for me. Let's get a liner brush. This is from the vegan four pack. Purple is the color of royalty. Look how pretty that is. That was Gloria Antonia. She said that's her spirit animal. Hay una señora que, que dice que la gloria es su, su alma gemela. Sí. Porque todo me mueve. Sí, movía ya, ¿no? Bye, bye. Yeah, Gloria, I changed her day off, so she won't be here on Monday, but she'll be here... What is, when is her day off? I don't remember. Tuesday? Spice Girl? The Spice Girl. My favorite Spice Girl? I think when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Posh. But now, yeah, but I think now as an adult, um, I can relate probably to maybe... Maybe Baby Spice? And at, as a kid, I didn't think that um, Scary Spice was that pretty, but now, I think now that they've all uh, aged, I think she's probably the prettiest one. She's aged really well. And I think personality-wise, she seems like a really cool person too in real life. 
Cause yeah, but yeah, she does look good now. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, Eddie Murphy left his wife for her. Or did they have a kid out of wedlock? I think so too. Go, Barbara. Is that what you would have told Monica Lewinsky if you were on the trip? Yeah. Let it go, Monica. Especially the president. And she ratted her out. Not only did she rat her out, she recorded it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that in. Time betrayal. <laughs> well, she said in her interview, because I saw the interview recently, she said she, we were never friends. Oh, but she said that then. Back then. What? She said they weren't friends. Yeah, that's in the interview from the 90s. Yeah. Linda Tripp yeah. said we weren't friends, so I don't I feel like I betrayed her. Right, that's what she said. She said it was her civil duty to rat him out. Lollipops were terrible too, but I still ate them. Really? They mm -hmm. were, um, they were spicy Yeah, but they didn't taste like anything. Really? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a nice coat of velvet now for the fantasy, because you guys know I'm obsessed with velvet on top of everything. Good song. This is when she got all sexual. I really want to see that show, American Crime Story. I think the lady that plays Monica doesn't really look like her. Yeah, I think it's on FX. I did start watching American Horror Story season 10, but it's okay. It's not as good as I thought it was. The story's kind of weak. a long time ago they used to have the VH1 Vogue fashion something and they asked her to perform this song or another song that was really big at the time and she did another one about domestic abuse. I can't remember what the song was called though. Mm. I That's the name of the song from Janet Jackson about yeah. domestic abuse. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that song? Yeah. 
Yeah. Ooh, that's actually, it's a really good song, actually. That's yeah. pretty What about all the times you lied to me? What about... Barbara's internal clock, you guys, is on point. It is no joke. <laughs> but make sure it's even when you turn your head upside down, because if not, if it's um, to one side or another, the gel will run to that oh, side. To that mm -hmm. So you want to keep it nice and balanced. Poor Bob. <laughs> Have you ever tried Omega XL? Omega XL. It is green lipid muscle oil from New Zealand for joint inflammation. So good. Careful, don't stick your fingers together though because then the gel will, will clean. Yeah, we'll clean that up. Should I get some? A little bit. How many seconds? It's done. Okay, yeah, turn it over. I saw that one. I thought the way they played out really was creative as you So you didn't see that one. I did not. I stopped watching after um, Coven. I said, Oh, yeah. I said, You can't top Coven, so there's no point in, you know. <laughs> Even trying, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead, or while you're on top. Go ahead. Take that one. Do that one. Do that one. <laughs> Freak show I never saw. Um, 1984 I didn't see either. No? Mm -mm. I did um, see a few of the ones that are one uh, story only. Mm -hmm. It was called American Horror Stories, and it was okay. It kind of reminded me, it wasn't Tales from the Crypt like that, like every episode was a different, uh, like a different one. story. Tales from the Crypt. The Crypt Keeper. Does he have a name, that little Crypt Keeper doll? I don't know. Somebody might have to tell me. I don't know. Do you ever watch that show, The Crypt Keeper? Tales from the Crypt? Once. <laughs> Once. And you didn't like it? Which one? She said, oh, but Tales. You watch Tales. Tales from the Crypt? Yeah, I guess. And then Tony said, you watch it back to back, they all went together. Really? I loved watching Tales from the Crypt when I was a kid. And I also did see American Horror Story um, Asylum, the one about the nuns and, and the crazy people asylum. Mm -hmm. That one did make me a little uncomfortable just because of, of, of my religion and, and uh, my. Uh, Respect for nuns. Yeah. It did push the boundaries a little, a little bit, but you have to take it for what it is, don't you? Mm -hmm. Nikki says, as always, lovely nails. Antonio, his name is the Crypt Keeper. So he doesn't have another name. We're gonna have to do this thumb just a few more seconds. Okay. Mm hmm. Because it's just that one corner. I think Freddy Krueger had a show like that too, but I don't think it. I just remember the episode with Danny DeVito and the twins. 
was that Tales from the Crypt and the twins were like in love with Danny DeVito and then at the end of the episode they um, cut him in half with the chainsaw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just oh, remember, I, I remember the last scene was the two twins and they were on like uh, opposite sides of like a pool mm -hmm. and they were like caressing the body of Danny DeVito and like he was coming here. So each twin would have one more. Oh, they were both crazy about him. Yeah. So they just split him in and then Danny DeVito of all people. I know. Look how pretty they look. Oh, I am obsessed. Look how pretty the map makes it look. Barbara, she's getting used to it, but I think when she, by the time it's time for a new set, she's going to be gagging for velvet. She's going to get more, more, more maps. Because <laughs> the details in it are just... Yeah, you can see more details. Mm -hmm. Detail and dimension. The light's not bouncing off the shiny Very thorough too. <laughs> She's like, due to the lack of light, hitting the reflective surface of the tip of the phalange, <laughs> our eye perception lets us see the dimension in the design much better. Ah, uh, yes. Who's that? Oh, Gloria. Gloria Jean. She's ready to go out. Sure. Live on television. Hi, Miss Gloria. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's live demo, you guys. Oh, do we have to do a giveaway for Facebook? Did you, did you? Oh, oh, okay. I'll be there soon. Oh, okay. And she got new nails. So are you gonna pick a winner, Barbara? Oh yes, I am. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm really, I'm usually the one that's really bad with people with rem remembering about uh, the good boys, but. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna just run it up and stop. Mm -hmm. so not... It's fair. It's Linda Williams. Linda Williams, are you here and do you live in America? Oh, you know what movie I wanted to talk to you about, but I forgot. Linda Williams, are you still on? Midnight in the Garden, Good and Evil. Oh yeah. Reminded me of you. Really? Yes. Because of the uh, the sayings. Mm -hmm. I love those kinds of sayings. Mm -hmm. I'm so sad that transgender died. That lady, what was her name? What was her name? Lady Cherie. Oh yeah. Lady Cherie. But is it Mon what it was? Not Montgomery. Savannah, Georgia. Isn't that a beautiful city? Beautiful town. Where do you live, Linda? Hello? Linda? Linda Vivas, Linda. Linda's like, I live in Savannah, Georgia. And we're gonna go personally go to her. Oh, she's in Bird! Okay. She's a this PA is, girl. That means that, that, that something's going on in the cosmos. So, Miss Linda, go ahead and email info at enocatour.com and let them know you are today's winner. Make sure you include your address, and next week 
when the girls return to work. We're going to send you out a little prize. And that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. Thanks for coming out, Barb. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye, everybody.